I just love having a good cup of coffee in the morning. There is nothing better than that. It calms you down, awakens your senses and helps you focus. I often used to be here, when I was still a detective. Sometimes with my colleagues, sometimes just me. This cafe also used to be our place. I wish you could be here, enjoying this together, and laughing at my silly jokes. Well, those were old times. Oh, hey Martin. Yeah, the coffee is delicious, like always. Hope the business is doing good. That's good to hear, my friend. Some old newspapers need to be thrown away. Sure, I can do that for you. <laughs> no problem. All right, I'll be right back. Oh, jeez. Why is he keeping newspapers from three weeks ago? Reminds me that I've been away for quite some time. I haven't read one in ages, it seems. Let's see what it says. Wait. That article. What does it say? Reported crime scene. Mysteriously disappeared. What? Don't, Don't tell, tell me. me. It can't be. Is it the one I think it is? The police arrived at the old abandoned industrial plant at 5 p.m. yesterday morning. An anonymous number had called the police prior to this, stating that there had been a fight leaving a dead man, identified as the infamous serial killer that is currently terrorizing the streets. When the police arrived, however, there was no evidence to be found. The officials declared the whole thing as a bad joke. <sighs> I don't believe this. This can't be true. How did he do this? I stabbed him for God's sake. He was laying in a pool of blood and didn't move. I've seen it with my own eyes. How can he be alive? And even if... How did he get rid of all the evidence while bleeding like a pig? <sighs> he sure is some sneaky bastard. <sighs> Either way... He's still alive. And we'll make sure that we won't have to wait long until he strikes again. Welcome to CNN News. We interrupt this current show to inform you of another gruesome murder performed by the facial butcher. After three weeks of silence, the brutal killing spree of the serial killer continues. Our sources states that the several people who have faced their death in another more terrible way than the previous victims. The scene of the crime found nearby a renovated house near the church is still being investigated by the police. The authorities, however, are not yet willing to comment on the comeback of this frightening man. Our reporters on the spot are trying everything to get the answers for every citizen of this town is waiting for. <laughs> Speaking of the devil, he's a real pain in the ass. I should have known he wasn't going to stay dead for long. And now he's back. Making sure everyone knows about it. The only weird thing is that the police don't want to comment on this. That's unusual. There must be something more to it. Seems like they want to hide something from the public. At least for the moment. They always do that when they think the situation is getting out of control. 
Something must have been different this time. I should take a look at this. I know him. I'm sure he left a message for me. The news mentioned a renovated house near that church. They must be talking about St. Peter's Church. How am I going to get access to the crime scene, though? Since the police are still investigating, there will be tons of officials around. <sighs> Not to worry, Darren. You'll find a way. You've always found one. You have overcome greater challenges. <sighs> and there goes my nice and smooth morning. Well then, Darren. Let's get back to work. I'm so sorry, Martin. But I fear you gotta do this yourself. I really gotta go now. Sorry. There. There it is. Wasn't hard to find. You can hear the sirens everywhere. Hmm. I must get into that building somehow. But I must be careful. If they see me, it's over. I should take a look at the situation outside. See how many cops there are. I have a pretty good view from here. Let's see. They haven't closed the crime scene in order to keep the gazers out. There is a huge crowd before the barrier. That's bad. But it's not like I'm not used to that. They might be able to see me when I try to sneak on the left and the right side of the building. So that won't be an option. Three cops are standing behind the barrier. Two others are patrolling at each side of the house. And I can't see how many are in the back side. Damn. What a massive contingent. I don't want to know how many cops are inside of the house. So many of them at a crime scene. It's very unusual. Something big must have happened. Something that worries the authorities. <sighs> what did that damn bastard come up with this time? Focus, Darren. You will see that in a second. But first of all, you need to get in. Is there any other way other than that front door? Let's take a closer look. There, on the left side, there seems to be some kind of bend or hatch. Maybe I can sneak in through there, when the cops aren't looking. But I need to be sure that it really is another way in. I have to get closer. Wait, what is that noise? Someone's coming my way. Damn it. They got me. What the? You? What are you doing here? You should ask me that. Wait. These clothes. That badge. Is it a police badge? You're a detective. But, you were the hostage back then. How did you end up becoming the hostage of a killer? A police operation gone wrong. I see. You were supposed to send a GPS signal when you were in his captivity. But he noticed. Hmm. That explains it. Since when do the authorities take such a risk? Losing a detective in such a way wouldn't have improved their image. It would have been their fault. Are they that desperate? 
do they still have no idea who the killer is? I thought so. Hmm? Thanks. No. No big deal. I was kind of responsible for that situation as well. You think you owe me something? You wanna participate in my crusade? <laughs> Are you sure? You still have your job after all. Do you really wanna risk losing it? Oh, you think the legal methods won't help the police find him? I see you're just as eager as I am. Alright then, welcome to the team. Oh, you are the detective that replaced me after I got discharged. Hmm. Mad? <laughs> no, I'm not. Don't worry. You didn't make that decision. Hey, listen. The killer used to play a game with me, in which he plays clues at each crime scene. In the end, they led me to the industrial plant we both escaped from. I'm sure he wants to do the same thing now. He sticks to his habits. Can you help me get access to the crime scene? Yes? That's great. You didn't look at it yourself? That's good, actually. Since you are the leading detective, it wouldn't be suspicious if you wanted to take a look at the whole thing alone. I think there is a hatch or a vent at the left side of the building. If we could distract the cops patrolling, I could sneak in through there. Any idea what we could do? Good timing. Seems like the crowd is panicking now that the journalists are asking their questions. Those cops will be occupied for a while. This is our chance. Let's go. There. The cops are going. The way is free. responsible of securing the evidence are not here yet. Good for me. There are some cops, however. And there they go. Everyone is leaving the room. Well, time for me to get out of this freaking small vent. Thank God. It's nice to be able to investigate stress-free for once. What the hell is this? What has he done to all these people? They look like... stuffed animals. Presented like gifts in these showcases. Disgusting. Ugh. He still mutilates their faces. But this... This is new. He's clearly expanding his methods. Showing off his trophies like this. He wants to show that he's back. He has become stronger now. What's wrong? Why are you looking at me like that? I know that expression. You don't want me to see something. 
What is it? Get out of the way. What? My... My wife? <coughs> he put her corpse in one of those freaking bottle banks. Sick mother... <coughs> Do you know what that means? <sighs> oh, he dug her up. He dishonored her grave. That pig of a defiler. <sighs> oh God, I can't look at her. This is enough. He has gone too far. That bastard will pay for this. I'll find him. And this time, I'll make sure he stays dead. But for that, I need to force myself to focus. Give me a second. This is stomach churning to say the least. What do you have there? Did you find something? A hint. I knew it. But we should get out of here. Those cops won't stay outside all day long. And I... I can't stand this place. It's too much. Too many old memories I thought I'd overcome. I need to get out of here. Can you help me get up to that vent? Yes, that will be my exit point. In order to appear normal, you should meet me at another place. If anyone asks why you're leaving, give them an excuse. That you were the one that had to throw up and uh, didn't feel good. Right. I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> anyway, meet me at the old house at the end of the Barclay Street. Yeah, exactly that one. You can't miss it. No, I don't live there. But a friend of mine does. He allows me to stay with him since my house is not the safest place to be living in. And you know... It doesn't feel like home anymore. I'm drifting off again. All right. See you at the house then. Ah, there you are. Come in. Welcome to my secret shelter. My friend, he is somewhere else in the city buying supplies. Yeah, I'm okay. I've calmed down. Do you want something to drink? Water? All right. Let me just grab a glass and... Uh... There you go. Did you bring the hint with you? Perfect. What does it say? May I? Hmm. Welcome back, my dear old friend. I sincerely hope you like my gift. <sighs> Bastard. <sighs> I invite you to play another game with me. But this time, there will be many more lives at risk and dangers awaiting you. As you already have become used to, you need to find clues that I'll leave for you. They will lead you to five different people. 
I want you to find and rescue them before I can kill them at a certain place. The first hint will be revealed in this letter. Since you will have a hard time finding these persons, I will make you a special offer. If you are willing to become my last victim, I will end up my killing spree for good. So now that everything has been said, there is only one thing missing. Good luck, detective. You will need it. Is he mad? How can he think I would ever agree to sacrifice myself? No one would ever agree on being murdered. How did he come up with this crap? Is he even serious? Calm down? How can I calm down when a serial killer asks me to become a sacrificial lamb? I'm sorry. <sighs> I didn't mean to shout at you. It's just that he knows exactly how to awaken my temper. I just can't believe this. Hmm? There is another sheet of paper. Oh, right. The hint. Let's see. Huh. Look at this. These numbers. They look like coordinates, right? He gave us the coordinates to four different locations. Maybe one of these is the place he was talking about in his letter. A map. Hmm. My friend might have one in his office. Fortunately for us, he works at the municipality and has a lot of maps of the city somewhere around here. Let me go search for a fitting one. Ah, this should work. Just let me grab a pencil. There. Can you tell me the coordinates? Hmm. There it is. Next one, please. All right. There we go. What's the next one? Yeah. It's right here. And the last one. Hmm. Now that's interesting. Do you see the pattern? Exactly. These four places are very close to each other. I would say they form the shape of a cross. You think the same thing I do, right? Now, I'll just... Uh... Line this here, and there. Hmm. The intercept point rests on one of the buildings. The Great National Museum. Why did he choose that place? Yeah, might be. Anyway. We should take a look at the museum as soon as possible. But it's already late. Uh, it will be closed by now. Either way, tomorrow is another day. For now, I would like to rest. Today's been a harsh day, and you should rest as well. You can stay here for the night if you want. I'm sure my friend wouldn't mind. Are you sure? I see. Don't worry. Just drive carefully, okay? <laughs> Sorry. Didn't want to sound like your dad. Here. Let me escort you to the door. You have the day off tomorrow? That's perfect. I'll see you tomorrow then. Let's say 10 a.m. in front of the museum. Good.
Oh, and uh, here's my number, just in case. Hey, and uh, thanks for your help, I mean. I really appreciate it. You are putting a lot at risk here. I don't take it for granted. You're a brave soul. <clears throat> well, then, good night, and see you tomorrow.